Hey there, it's Eon. Welcome back to another vlog. And as always, the, the goal with these vlogs is to always help you and give you as much as I've learned through these past 24 years of life. If that's overcoming immobility or around 18 years of my life battling my foot conditions or gaining a ton of weight, going from 150 to 225 pounds, or even running a, a business near 100K a month. All those lessons, everything I've learned before, 20, I'm 24 years old, turning 25 next year, but the goal with making these videos is to give you as much solid, immediately applicable advice with business as well that can change the trajectory of your entire life for absolutely free. I wanna give that out and I want to share my experiences, my learnings, what life has taught me in order to best help you grow as well. So. With that said, beautiful Vancouver, nice and rainy tonight, <laughs> got the umbrella, but here's what's been going on this past week. So just today alone, one thing that I noticed, and I think one thing, if you have experience with this, you'll know exactly what I mean, but life always is always, always, always trying to give you exactly what you want. Everything is always in front of you, all lessons, all future, aspirations, all, all of your dreams and conquests and everything that you want to do with your life is always right in front of you. However, we don't recognize it as the applicable journey for us. We don't think it's worth our while to do something. And we convince ourselves out of do them, doing those things if that's lack of curiosity, if that's lack of action, whatever it is. Like whatever you think you deserve is a couple steps ahead of you. Life is always trying to give you or teach you the journey for you to get to that thing. That's the gift of life. It'll give you whatever you want if you want the journey in front of you. And the reason why this is so tricky to believe is because there's one thing, thing missing from the macro lens of this concept, right? You're like, what is life? What is, and why does it decide that? For example, and the thing is not that life is a separate thing. It's a part of you because you're one extension, one aspect of consciousness. We are, everything is rocks, seas, like everything is infinitely beautiful and conscious and complex. It's just a part of the same thing. And we do so many things on a day-to-day -day basis with <laughs> these meat skins, as some people call them, that we forget that concept. We forget that we have to survive, or, or we, we think we only have to survive and live and do the bare basic minimum. We have survival needs that we will not omit easily. And those survival needs are influenced. They're influenced very easily by a lot of things, including life itself, including us just getting and forgetting what life is actually about. So if we remind ourselves that no matter what's in front of you, no matter anything you want, it's always in front of you. You just have to throw time and expectations out the window and if you feel like life is showing you that it's giving you, that it's a result of you achieving whatever you want to achieve, you're getting closer to that result with life. Life is giving you more of that as you itch closer to it. The more you can set your sights on something, choose it and see if you achieve it is a, is a oftentimes a correlator to how conscious you are and how aware of you are and how, how good you are at beating the emotional bias. Now I'm not saying that I do these things perfectly, nor do I think that it's an easy thing to do, no, nor do I think it's an easy thing to even perfect. But And you continuously just try and remind yourself in whatever ways that you can that there's more to it than today or tomorrow or this week or what's been going on. It's your choices to change in the right direction. If you can do that as best as you can, be ever loving, wish no harm, obviously, then you will get what you want eventually. I've thrown time out the window. When I was training as a bodybuilder when I was doing bodybuilding and competitive Ironman triathlon two years ago before starting my business, I had no idea where that was going to get me. No clue. But I knew that at that point in time, I needed validity. I needed something that could cultivate some sort of a story or can cultivate some sort of inspiration or can give me a step in the right direction. I knew at that point in time, I didn't know what was going to happen, but I know Deep down, I feel it in my gut. That's like the best way I can explain it to you. This is a step in the right direction. And I just took that and I just kept taking those and learning and applying what I learned after 
after life, as life goes on, what I learn every time something like that comes in. And what I've noticed is that if you gain a lot of weight, you do a really big change. I gained, I think, 80 pounds of lean mass around about. I was 150, I went to 230 pounds at my heaviest. Now I'm like 206 to 210. It hovers with marathon training. But that change sparked the unarguable proof that I had in myself that showed that I could do something. And yes, that's a fact. I validated what I thought and what I wanted with life. And life showed me that I'm on the right track with that. Now, that was not the end solution. I was a delinquent when I was 19. There was a lot of choices that I made that weren't very good, that uh, took being and thinking too much of my physique when I was younger and thinking that that was my only source of personality. Like, there's things that you learn in that other direction. And then that swung the pendulum down. And I realized that I couldn't just goof off and vape and drink and smoke weed and just work at a good paying job and not do something, not have and not go full into a purpose. I, I didn't have those things. And what that gave me was a really, really, really deep shitting feeling, feeling for life, feeling like there's nothing up from here. And that I knew that not going to university, I had to figure out a way to make it somewhat justifiable. Otherwise, I'd feel like shit. I'd feel like a complete fraud. So after that, tied into like, the idea of weight gaining and knowing expectations out the window, just forget about time, forget about how many years, months, days, minutes, milliseconds, effort, anything is gonna take. The more I think about that less, the more I think about how long something's gonna take and I just do it, the better my life gets and the quicker I grow. So the less you can do that and just do it and make it manageable, that will also help in the right direction. Again, I'm not saying I do either of these things perfectly, nor do I, if I, if, oops, <laughs> I will drop to you. If I'm acting like I'm above these concepts or if I'm explaining myself in a weird way, I'm just trying to really, really, really emphasize what I'm thinking. And that's the best way for me to put it. So it's not me speaking over you and it's things that I still have to be aware of every single day as well. It's never growing challenge, but being reminded by of these things on social media, I believe is something that very few people are doing it. And if a lot of people talk about, I would say high level stuff like this in the respect of this isn't brain rot, it's pretty high level stuff. If people did this more, I think it'd be a good thing. So that's, that's where I'm coming from with the sort of line of advice, line of holistic thinking, line of application from what I'm understanding, from what I'm learning, from what I'm seeing from this experience as well. So really cool uh, concept there that I wanted to share. And yeah, have a great night.